This is the next video. It's about team development. So this particular video is going to be about communication and trust. And I think it's incredibly important when you're developing a team to think about these particular subjects. My little girl wanted to be in this video. So here she is. Say hi, Madison. Say hi. Say hello. He's right there. Look. Hug with her. Say hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> there she is. So, um, communication is not just about talking to people, but it's about communicating effectively. So you have to be able to communicate well when you're deciding to have a conversation with somebody. So it's important to be able to do it both ways. So giving feedback, um, receiving feedback, talking about giving criticism if you're giving negative feedback to somebody can be incredibly difficult. So be ready to accept it too, right? Your manager might come to you with some criticism and you have to be able to kind of take it with a grain of salt and learn from what they're saying. But it's an important part of the process. If you look at feedback, whether it's negative or positive, as an opportunity to grow, then you will understand that feedback can be very crucial to the development of your personal self, the development of your team, and it can help, you know, regardless. The other thing that's important, which um, I'm going to get into the eight behaviors to a smart team because I think it's a good resource is to talk about things that are difficult to talk about. So discussing the undiscussable amongst your team and uh, it's important to be able to talk about that. So the things that are difficult, being able to confront those people that you might not be dealing uh, with well on the team. Um, it can be difficult uh, or if there's been something that's been happening on the team that's interfering with your goal objectives It's important to be able to talk about that so that you guys can move past it and be successful as a team So communication is key and then the last piece that I'm going to mention is giving recognition to the team members that deserve it So are you so excited? Is that so fun? I know it's a video. Um, so that's an important part of the communication too. So feedback, criticism, being able to talk about things that are difficult and uh, giving recognition. So let's get into the eight behaviors for a smarter team. I thought this was a really great resource that my professor provided and uh, it's really interesting. My daughters wanted to participate in this particular section. So here they are. State views and ask genuine questions. Share all information. Use specific examples and agree on what important words mean. Explain reasoning and intent. Focus on interest and not positions. Test assumptions. Jointly design next steps. Discuss undiscussable issues. So the last section of the communication and trust is actually talking about building the trust and credibility. In one of the earlier videos, I talked about setting short-term goals and working to achieve those. So if you set down those short-term goals, then you can show that you are able to set goals and achieve them as a team. So I think that's really important to build that trust amongst the team is to set a short-term goal and achieve it together. Nothing, nothing feels better than to be able to succeed together. So I like that. Uh, the other thing is remaining authentic to yourself and, and being truthful to the team. So if there's been a hiccup or if there's been a mishap, um, it's important to communicate back to them. <laughs> You're so excited. Um, yeah, I'm so excited too. You like the trust and credibility section. She does. She likes it. Um, so there was another video that my professor provided, which I think is a really neat tool, um, which I kind of thought about it when I was t thinking about this or brainstorming about this particular section for this video. And I call it the goose section. So it was introduced early on in the, the class. And it talks about the theory of the geese when they're flying. Um, and the video that he provided was kind of funny. And in the, in the beginning, it just showed birds flying and was music. And I was like, where in the world is this guy taking us? Um, but the concept is that the team is much stronger if you're in it together. Um, and if you understand and trust each other, then you can do great things. So the way that geese are is they always fly in a V. And when they're flying behind each other, the updraft from the bird in front of them allows them to actually use less work. So they don't have to work as hard. So the one in front has to do a lot of work, but then everybody else behind them benefits from them flying and, and being the leading goose. Um, 
So they all benefit from that particular goose. So it's it's neat to see that. Um, but then the geese have to depend on each other and they have to trust that they're all gonna be participating. Yeah, do you wanna be on the video? Do you wanna talk about trust? So they have to trust that they're all gonna be in there flying together. Um, when, the, when a goose falls, this is the other thing that was pretty neat about it. <laughs> when a goose falls, um, when it goes down for whatever reason, they don't leave each other alone. Uh, so they actually have two other geese that will go down with the fallen goose and uh, stay with it until it's well enough to travel and then meet up with the rest of the flock. So I thought that was another thing that, that is important to develop that trust is to remember that we're kind of all in it together and that the team is going after a purpose together. So. Uh, remember that communication and trust are key with team development. Remember the eight behaviors for smarter teams. Remember how cute little baby Madison is. Yeah, and how much you wanted to be in the video. Um, yeah, so the next video is actually, I think, one of the last videos in the team development series. Um, but then we'll continue on uh, into a different section uh, for the, the lecture series. So, um, all right, thanks, guys. <laughs> Bye.